Wake up, a new day is dawning. There's beauty and happiness everywhere. Jump up, destiny's calling. You and your friends have so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries. Lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up, there's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. And sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover love. This way, they'll pass through within hours. Quickly, prepare for a hunt. You won't get another chance like this. Hear that? Yes, a deer heard. Better tell Lurie right away. Wolves, Chill the Kite has brought us some good news. A large herd of deer will be passing through here within a few hours. We must act quickly. We'll trap the herd as it enters the jungle. Akru, you will lead the pursuit group. Mm-hmm. Once the herd is in the jungle, we will have to cut off its escape. This is a difficult task which requires great skill, so I am assigning Akela to lead the cutoff group. Mm-hmm. The ambush group will wait in the jungle. Mowgli, as always, you will lead this group. Mm-hmm. That's it! Chase them toward the deep jungle! Hunters, you've done excellent work. I'm proud of you all. Well, your plan was the key, Lurie. That's very kind of you. We all did our part, as a team. And Akela, you were a crucial member of that team. Thank you, Lurie, but all I did was what you told me. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this was an outstanding hunt, the best we've had. The best we've had? Now, don't exaggerate, Akela. What's that? Lurie, believe me, I'm not exaggerating. Thanks to you, this was our best hunt ever. Well, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. I admit it was a good hunt. But the credit isn't mine alone. Akela contributed as much as I did. Eh? No, I wish that were true, Lurie. 
But I played only a minor role in the hunt today. I'm too old to help the wolf pack as I once did. How can you say that? With your wisdom and experience, you help us every day. Glory! Hmm? It's one of the sentinels. I have terrible news. The jackals from across the river are raiding our land and they're attacking the buffalo herd. Jackals? How many are there? Many. Perhaps a hundred, perhaps more. I didn't stay around to count them. If we don't repel them, they'll poach our food. Hunters, I know you all need rest and food after the work you've done today, but this is an emergency. We must repel the jackals. I will lead. No, Lurie, let me lead. Hunters, follow me. Akela! We're with you, Akela! Let's go! There they are. Huh? Huh? The jackal raiders are charging. Hunters, prepare yourselves. This won't be easy. <laughs> Those jackals have caught a buffalo. Ah! Meet the jackals, that's what counts. Akela! <laughs> this plant will help you recover, Akela. Hmm, thank you, Mowgli. But why are you here with me? Isn't it your turn to be on patrol? What will Luri say if she finds you here? <laughs> Luri took me off patrol duty so I could look after you. Lala, is that true? Yes, she told Mowgli to heal you. Hmm, well, Luri's the leader. Better do what she says. Hmm. <laughs> Good, Mowgli will apply the healing plant to your wounds. You'll soon be fine, Grandfather. Hmm. What's that, Mowgli? You say Akela is steadily growing weaker and weaker? Mm-hmm. His wounds are two weeks old. He should be better by now. But his strength is gone, and the healing plant doesn't seem to have any effect. This is very disturbing, and there's not much we can do. No. Mm. I don't understand, Mowgli. Why doesn't Akela simply get up and... It's not that easy, Kichi. He's weak. He needs plenty of food and rest if he's going to recover. But his appetite is gone, and he hardly sleeps anymore. This is serious. Mm -hmm. mm. Look, Grandfather, rabbits. Eat them and you'll feel better. Huh? Oh. Grandfather, Mowgli and I are doing all that we can. We bring you fresh food and give you the healing plant, but you don't eat, and the healing plant does nothing for you. What else do you need? Oh, Lala, I don't know. Mm. 
Perhaps Akela hasn't recovered because he doesn't want to. You're right, Baloo. Mowgli, let me... I'm not sure I want to hear this. Hmm? Hmm. Listen to me, man -cub. I know it's painful, but the obvious truth is that Akela has lost his desire to live. No, Bagheera, you're wrong! Mowgli, Baloo and Bagheera were right about Akela. He is tired. Of course he's tired. He's tired of suffering pain from his wounds, but he's not tired of life, is he? Mm-hmm. He is? He hasn't said anything to me about being tired of life. It doesn't make sense. Such a wise wolf could never feel that way. Oh! You're wrong, Mother, you're wrong! <laughs> Son, listen to me. It's hard for you to understand because you're young. Life is new to you. But Akela is not young. He's had a long, rich life. And now, after so many years, he's weary and in pain. He wants to rest, Mowgli. It would be selfish of us to stop him. I know your heart is heavy, Mowgli. Mine is heavy, too. But if we truly love and respect Akela, then we must accept his wishes and not seek to impose our own. If we truly love and respect Akela, then we must accept his wishes and not seek to impose our own.
Kayla is weary and in pain. He wants to rest, Mowgli. It would be selfish of us to stop him. Mother was right. Akela wants to rest. That's why he's come here, to find peace. Come in here, Mowgli. Huh? It's all right, thanks to you, we're safe now. I knew you were following me, but I also knew I might need your protection. And I did. I could never have defeated those two wild dogs. Sure you could. No, Mowgli. I am old and weak. I don't have much time left. You mustn't say that. You're going to get well again, Akela. You have to recover. The wolf pack needs you. No, Mowgli, the pack doesn't need me. I'm too feeble to contribute anymore. My final hour is drawing near. <gasps> no! Hmm. There's no need to be sad, man cup. I've had a good life. It's time for me to rest. It's a hard lesson, but you must learn that every life has an end, even the lives of those you love. Mowgli, this is the last and greatest of all our laws. The jungle is eternal. Those who live in it are not. But Akela, that doesn't apply to you. You are a great leader, the strongest wolf I've ever known. If you only made the effort to become healthy again, we'd have many more years together. You are wrong, Mowgli. Even if I were around, you would leave soon. <gasps> You would leave because you are human. Your place is with others of your kind. I know you love us wolves, Mowgli, and we love you. But you cannot stay in the pack much longer. Your heart won't let you. You'll go on longing for your human friend, Jamira. And when the longing becomes too great to bear, you'll leave the jungle and seek her out. That is as it should be, Mowgli. <clears throat> ah, so you see, it makes no difference in the end. Even if I were here, you'd be gone, gone forever. No, Akela, you're wrong, wrong! Do you think you can make the truth go away by denying it, Mowgli? You are human. It's time for you to go back to your own kind. <laughs> Akela, you all right? Akela! <laughs> Uh, very soon it will be time to leave for me and for you. Mm. Akela! Mowgli, I want to go outside one last time. Mm. Mowgli! Mm? Uh, please help me. Help me go outside. I want to see the sunrise.
Sun is about to come up. Thank you, Mowgli, for staying with me, for protecting me when the night was deep and I was weak. Now dawn is only a few moments away. My heart is at peace, and at last I'm ready to rest. Can all live together. 